So we are live on Facebook and I'm going to try and keep these short. So today is all about moms and babes and littles. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of ways that we can use essential oils to help little ones. For those of you that don't sign in right away, you can always re-watch this later. And I will be also posting them on uh, our website, which is um, www.featherstonesolutions.com forward slash forward slash oils with Jan and Donna. So anytime that you're using oils with little ones, <clears throat> how old they are, how big they are, what size, etc. Huge, you need to understand that. And most of the time you're going to dilute up until the time that they're about I would say maybe five or six, um, they start to be able to handle things a little bit um, more intense, right? So on the on the blog under the resources tab, there's a lot of different resources up there, but there's ones called Oils and Littles. That is um, a dilution chart to kind of help you understand um, how many drops, you know, per fractionated coconut oil which is one of a really good carrier. You can also use uh, almond oil, you can use avocado oil. Uh, personally, I don't like using olive oil because you don't really know the purity of a lot of olive oil that's out there. Um, so for a 10 mil roller ball, um, I don't know if I have one handy. I don't, anyway, 10 mil roller ball. Um, zero to one year, I would go, you know, one, Close to the one year mark, maybe two, depending on the oil, right? Lavender, I wouldn't have an issue with that. Something that's a little, um, you know, more intense, that would stick with the one drop. Uh, I realize that is erring on the side of caution, but I would much rather err on the side of caution than not. Then, say, two to five years, two drops. Um, five to ten years, three to four drops. And over ten years, it depends on how they've reacted um, you can go up to six, and I mean, I know some kids that are like 12, and they're using full, uh, the same strength that an adult would use. We have uh, a wonderful group, and by all means, anybody that, you know, signs you up will obviously be there to support you, and so that you have someone to ask questions. Um, oils that are regarded safe for children are cedar wood. Cypress, frankincense, geranium, ginger, juniper berry, lavender, lemon, marjoram, melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree, uh, orange, rosemary, sandalwood, thyme, vetiver, and ylang ylang. Now, uh, lemon and orange are citrus, so there is a photo photosensitivity to those ones. So if you put that on like someone's wrists, um, uh, on the temples, that type of thing, don't go out, in, out of the house in the sun for at least 12 to 15 hours because those oils are photosensitive and you can possibly get burnt. Rosemary, um, again, it's totally okay for children, but you definitely want to dilute that for sensitive skin for little ones. I wouldn't give any uh, little ones under six anything internally. I just don't think that they're ready to handle that. Um, too much oil on a baby is not necessarily harmful to them. It's more of a waste because they're, they can't really, their system can't use that much oil. So they just require a really small amount. Um, I want to tell you a, a quick story. Um, somebody really close to me, their grandson uh, had an upset tummy, and uh, not to get too graphic, but his poop kind of looked like green pea soup, right? So after a couple of days, and he wasn't seeming to get better, what they did was they took Digest Zen. get this turned the right way around. We call it Zen Just in Canada. They put three drops above his belly button and two drops below his belly button. Within that 24 hours, he was 75%, his, his 
bowel movement was 75% better. Uh, repeated that the next day, and by the end of the day, it was 100% better. And that was three months ago, and it hasn't happened since then. So Digest Zen is, is amazing for kids. And not diluted on a little one. He's, uh, I think, three years old. And that was fine. Um, for colds, on guard and breathe. And I'll just turn this around. On guard is our immunity oil. Breathe is our respiratory oil to help breathing. So in a roller ball, I would apply that again. You know, one drop of on guard, one drop of breathe. Yeah, especially if it's a young one. Um, in a roller ball, apply it to the feet and spine every four hours or so. Um, but you can also diffuse it in the room as well. And so for diffusing, I would not have the diffuser right beside the little face. Um, so, you know, a good three, four feet away. And uh, you could diffuse, you know, a couple drops of each on guard and breathe. For sleep, I would diffuse uh, lavender. And you can diffuse lavender with sandalwood or vetiver or cedarwood. All three of those are sedative type oils. Uh, Serenity Blend is a fabulous blend that, that is uh, very, very calming. We're all unique too, so sometimes it takes a little while to exactly find the couple of blends or find the protocol, the mix, the magic potion that actually is going to work for you know your particular child. Um, you could also make a rollerball of those and apply it to their feet as well. Uh, upset tummy, again, digest sends and just around the belly button. You can also do it on the bottoms of the feet. Um, you can, um, for the older children, you can put it in a veggie cap. You know, so, you know, seven and older, yeah, a drop of digest sends in a veggie cap. If you, You'll know your child better than anyone else if they can actually, you know, take a pill-like thing. Um... That would be a really good way to do it. Hyperactive. Uh, the emotional touch rollers are really, really good for hyperactive, but uh, which is, uh, you know, peace or in tune. And that's a great way to get started, right? Because it's not you having to make up a blend or trying to think something out. But also, um, you could use vetiver. It, again, it's a sedative. So, um, the hyperactive probably, you know, doesn't really kick in more like to like three and four. So possibly like a drop uh, at four. Yeah, you c I could do a drop of vetiver and a drop of lavender. And then just behind the ears on the back of the neck and on the wrists. Um, be careful where you put it on your child. If you think they're going to start touching it and possibly touch their eyes, it's another thing that you want to think about with babies. Um, so like, again, on the spine, bottoms of the feet, then they don't have anything on their hands so they can't get it in their eyes and um, or, you know, it's not going to kill them. They suck on it and it's lavender, but um, it's not going to be, you know, something that they're used to, so... Um, that's pretty much it. So we talked about colds. We talked about sleep, uh, upset tummies, um, hyperactive. And I think that's about it. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention is when you join us, when you sign up with doTERRA, you're, uh, invited to this fabulous page of Oilers. It's a group on Facebook. And so you get to meet and chat with other Oilers and share success stories and recipes and uh, and find help for your issues. And talk to people that they're using these oil, oil, oils on a daily basis. They're brand new to using oils. So it's just a great place to come and share and, you know, see what's happening. So what are you waiting for? Come live naturally with us. Um, I hope you like it and we'll see you next Sunday for the next class.